Dive into a world of rich history and cultural diversity as you embark on the journey of learning the German language. With its roots woven into the fabric of Europe, German holds a significant place in literature, science, and business. Its unique sound and structure mirror the beauty and intricacy of the culture it represents. As the most widely spoken language in Europe, German is not just a language, but a gateway to a fascinating world. Your first step into this fascinating world starts with learning the German alphabet. Begin with the first five letters of the German alphabet, A, B, C, D, E. Welcome to the fascinating world of German letters. Let's get started with the first one, the letter A. In German, it's called A. Ah. It's a short, crisp sound like in the word Apfel, which means apple. Just imagine biting into a juicy apple and saying A. Ah. Moving on, we encounter the letter B, pronounced as Bay in German. Think about the word Brat, which translates to bread. Picture yourself breaking a piece of fresh, warm Brat, and you'll get the hang of it. Next, we have the letter C. You'll say this as say. An easy way to remember this is by referring to your computer. Yes, that's right. Computer in German is the same as in English. Up next is the letter D, pronounced as day in German. A good word to remember this is dock, meaning roof. Imagine a quaint German cottage with a sloping dock, and you'll never forget how to say D. Finally, we come to the letter E, pronounced as I in German. A fun example is the word elephant. Just like in English, elephant means elephant. Picture a big, friendly elephant waving its trunk, and you've got the E down. By now, you've gotten a taste of the German language, starting with these first five letters. Remember, it's all about practicing the sounds and associating them with images or words that are familiar to you. Great job on mastering the first five letters of the German alphabet. Continue your journey with the next set of letters, F, G, H, I, J. Let's dive in and explore these five letters to get you closer to mastering the German alphabet. Let's start with F. In German, F is pronounced as F. A prime example of a word beginning with F is fish, which translates to fish in English. So, next time you see a school of fish, remember to say fish, moving on to G. In German, G is pronounced as gay. A common word that starts with G is glass, which means glass in English. So if you're at a German restaurant and you need a glass of water, you know what to ask for. Next up, we have CHE. In German, H is pronounced as HA. A typical German word beginning with H is HAUS, which simply means house in English. So if you're ever lost and need to find your way back to your house, you'd be looking for your house. Let's move on to I. In German, I is pronounced as E. A beautiful word starting with I is insel, translating to island in English. So if you're dreaming of a vacation on a beautiful island, you'd be dreaming of an insel. Finally, we have J. In German, J is pronounced as yacht. A commonly used word that starts with J is jahr, which means year in English. So as we move through the year, remember in German, you're moving through the jahr. And there you have it. You've just learned the German letters F through J, along with some common words starting with each of these letters. Keep practicing these letters and words, and you'll be well on your way to becoming fluent in the German language. You've now learned half of the German alphabet. Congratulations on reaching this milestone. Keep up the good work, and stay tuned as we continue our journey through the German alphabet in the next part of this series. Keep up the momentum as you learn the next five letters, K, L, M, N, O. Let's dive right in with the letter K. In German, this letter is pronounced K. It's a sound you're likely already familiar with, as it's similar to the English K. Let's put it into context with a word. Katze, for instance. Katze means cat. So the next time you see a cute little feline, you can point and say Katze, moving on to L, pronounced L in German. It's another sound that's quite similar to its English counterpart. Let's look at an example. Lampa which translates to lamp. So when the sun goes down and you need to turn on the light, you're reaching for your lampa. Next up is M, pronounced M. Again, it's a sound that should feel familiar to English speakers. An example of a word starting with M is mouse, which translates to mouse. So whether you're talking about a small rodent or your computer accessory, you're talking about a mouse. We move on to N, pronounced N in German. It's similar to the English N. 
Let's use it in a word, naze, which means nose. So if you're smelling the aroma of freshly baked bread, it's your naz doing the work. Last, for this segment, we have O, pronounced O in German. Unlike the previous letters, the German O can sound a little different from the English O, especially when it's used in words. An example is OR, which means ear. So those things on the side of your head helping you to hear this lesson? Those are your ORIN, the plural form of OR. You're doing fantastic, only a few more letters to go. Now let's tackle the final set of letters, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Starting with P, pronounced as PE in German. A word to remember is Papier, which means paper. Next is Q, pronounced Q, and an example word is Koala, translating to jellyfish. Moving on to R, pronounced air. An example word is Rose, which is the same in English. S is next, pronounced S, and the sample word is Son, meaning sun. T in German is pronounced Tea. Remember it with the word Tisch, meaning table. Then we have U, pronounced U, and a word to remember is Ur, which translates to clock. V is pronounced Fau in German, with Vase as an example word, meaning the same as in English. Then comes W, pronounced V. The word Wasser should help you remember, it means water. X is pronounced X, and an example word is Xylophon, which is the same as Xylophone in English. Y is pronounced Wepsilon, and a word to remember is yoga, same as in English. Finally, we have Z, pronounced set. An example word is zebra, meaning the same as in English. And there you have it, the final set of letters in the German alphabet. Each one, with its unique pronunciation and representative word, forms a crucial part of the German language. As you continue to practice, these letters will become second nature to you, seamlessly blending into your vocabulary. Language is a beautiful tapestry, woven from the threads of alphabets. And now you've added the vibrant threads of the German alphabet to your linguistic repertoire. Congratulations! You've successfully learned the entire German alphabet. Having covered the entire German alphabet, it's time for a quick recap. We've traveled from A to Z, or should I say from A to Set. Each letter with its unique sound forms the foundation of a language rich in history and culture. Starting with A, B, Z, we discovered the first three letters and their distinct pronunciations. We then journeyed through D, E, F, G, and H, among others, each carrying its own charm. We learned how I, H, Yacht, K, L, M, N, O, and P are pronounced, and explored the unique sounds of Q, R, S, T, U, V, X, Y, Z. Remember, practice is key. As you go about your day, try to incorporate these letters into your thought process. Think about your surroundings and how they might be described in German. The name of that lovely cafe you frequent, the book you're currently reading, or the street you live on. Each day you'll find that these letters become more familiar and more comfortable to pronounce. Learning a new language can seem daunting, but remember, every expert was once a beginner. You've taken the first step in this journey and what a significant step it is. Mastering the alphabet is your first step in learning the German language. Join us next time for more exciting language learning content. Don't forget to subscribe.